Hi, this lesson I will teach you solve simultaneous equations by elimination method. So let's get into it. To solve this pair of equations simultaneously, in another word, we find the point of intersections of the two, e two lines here. So we have two lines and we need to find the point of intersection, so this point here. But we do it algebraically by using elimination method. So let's get into it. So first of all, I name this one here is equation number one first. So I just write equation number one and this one here, name this equation number two. So we want to eliminate one of the variable out. We either want to eliminate x out or y out. So to do this, I can see this y here, we have a positive y on equation number one and on equation number two we have a neg negative y so if we add them up so that means y plus minus y is equal to zero because y plus minus y is the same as y minus y so equal zero so in another word if we add the two equations together we get rid of the y variable so let's add them together so we just go 2x plus x is 3x and then we have y plus minus y and it's disappear and live with on the right hand side we have 5 we add 7 so 5 plus 7 is 12 otherwise you can of course use your calculator and don't forget to relabel so you when you look back of course you know what you just did so we go equation number one and then we add equation number two. So with two equations add together, so 3x is equal to 12. Now we just solve it we'll by divide this by 3, and we divide this by 3 to get rid of the 3 in front of the x. So therefore, x is equal to 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now to solve for y, so we substitute either x equal 4 into equation number 1, or we can substitute x equal 4 into equation number 2. It doesn't matter which equation you substitute in, okay? So in this case, I just sub x equal 4 into equation number 1. But if you substitute equation number 2, it still give you the same answer. So I write it down, substitute x equal 4 into equation number 1. So this means that every time you see x, you replace with 4. So 2 loss of x means 2 loss of 4 plus y is equal to 5. So we know that 2 times 4 is 8. Then a plus y is equal to 5. Now to solve for y, is, of course, we get rid of this 8 by the opposite. I minus 8 on this side. So I minus 8 on the left hand side. I need to do the same thing on the right hand side as well. So this cancel out. So therefore, y is equal to 5 minus 8 is negative 3. So this is it. So therefore, x is equal to 4 and y is equal to negative 3. Or you can write your answer in point form, which is x is 4, y equal to negative 3. Okay, that's your, your point of intersection. Of course, you can test it by substitute back to the equations to see whether you get right or wrong. But in this case, I can also use Desmos to uh, check the answer. So I just did this already. So I put that in the equations. I just type that on Desmos. So this is what I get. So the point of intersection is here. So which is, there you go, 4 and negative 3. That is the point of intersections. So if you haven't got Desmos on your, your, on your mobile phone app, please download this. This is very handy tool for you. Okay, so you can always go to Desmos and just Google it and then download the app for me, if you like. I want you to stop the video and try this one yourself. See if you get it, okay?
How do you go? Do you try it? Let me check the answer with you. See if you get it right. So we named these equations number one and this is equation number two. And you can see we have x here and we have a negative x here. So one positive x and negative x. So if we add together, the x would disappear. So we're going to add two equations together. So I choose a plus here. So equation number one and equation number two. Okay. So I just add them up. So x plus minus x equals zero. So I just ignore that. So we have 3y plus y is 4y. So we write 4y down. And 8 plus 4 or 4 plus 8 equal to 12. So we write 12 down. Then we're going to divide this by 4. And I divide this by 4. This cancel out. So therefore 12 divided by 4 is 3. So y is equal to 3. Now we need to find the value of x. To find value of x, I can either substitute y into this equation here or I can substitute the y equal 3 into this equation as well. So I substitute y equal 3 into equation number 1 because it's easier because we have negative x here. So I do not like negative numbers so I just substitute y equal 3 into equation 1. So to do this we go sub substitute y equal to 3 into equation number 1. So now every time you see y, we need to write, replace with 3. Okay, so which is x plus 3y, which is 3 less of 3, and is equal to 4. And 3 times 3 is 9. So x plus 9 is equal to 4. Now to solve this, we get rid of the 9. We do opposite. So we minus 9 on the left and a minus 9 on the right hand side. This cancel out. So therefore, x is equal to 4 minus 9 is negative 5. So therefore, therefore, x is equal to negative 5 and y is equal to 3. Of course, you can write point form if you like, negative 5 and 3. Let's move on next one. So we have this one here, number 3. So we have 2x minus 2y is equal to 8. So I named this equation number 1 and then this equation number 2. Now you can see this, we have two, negative 2y here and we have negative 2y on equation number 2 as well. So if I minus them together, equation number 1 minus equation number 2 and the y disappear because minus 2y minus minus 2y this one here, which is give me zero because negative 2y, this become plus, plus 2y. So it could zero. That's what that meant. Okay. So we're going to use equation number one minus equation number two. So just put a minus here. So now we have 2x minus x is give me x minus 2y plus 2y is equal to zero. So we leave that it is. And then 8 minus 10, which is minus 2, or negative 2, if you like. Of course, we're going to state that equation number 1 minus equation number 2. Now, we're going to find the value of y, because we have x already. So, I just sub substitute, okay, x equal negative 2 into equation number 1. Doesn't matter what number 1 or number 2, in this case, I just do 1 for no reason, okay? Because both have negative anyway. So I put that in there. So you got 2 loss of x. That means 2 loss of negative 2. Minus 2y is equal to 8. Now 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Okay. Minus 2y is equal to 8. Then to solve this. So I'm, I plus 4 on this side. And I plus 4 on this side. This cancel out. So negative 2y is equal to 8 plus 4 is 12. Then I just divide this by negative 2 and I divide this by negative 2. That cancel out. So therefore, y is equal to negative 6. There you go. So now we have x and y. So we don't stop there. We go right there for x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to negative 6. 
Now, please stop the video and try this one yourself. Hi, I'm back. Let's see if you get it correct, okay? Let's go. So let's name this equation number one. And this one here is equation number two. So now, because we have 3y here and 3y here, so we just use equation number one minus equation number two. So if I minus it, okay, this will give me 2x minus x is x. And 3y minus 3y is cancelled out. So we write equal here, 5 minus minus 2. So you go 5 minus minus 2, this is a plus of course, that give me 7. Otherwise, I can just use calculator, you just go 5 minus minus 2, and you should get 7. See? So equals 7. To find the y value, so we substitute x equals 7 into either one of the equations, okay? So I just substitute into equation number 1. So we got 2 lots of x means 2 lots of 7, and we add 3y is equal to 5. Now 2 times 7 is 14, so I just write 14 down, we plus 3y is equal to 5. Then we're going to solve for y. Of course, we minus 14, we get rid of this 14, I minus 14 on this side, this cancel out. So 3y left, 5 minus 14, it's the same as 14 minus 5, so 10 minus 5 is 4, and 4 is 9. So instead of 9, is negative 9. Otherwise, you just put in a calculator, 5 minus 14, and you should get negative 9. And then I divide this by 3 to solve for y, and I divide this by 3. So that cancel out. So therefore, y is equal to negative 3. Of course, we don't stop there. We've got to write the answer out. Therefore, x is equal to 7, and y is equal to negative 3. Thank you so much for watching.